God, here we go, here we go, another loco, another engage locomotive. This is a Grand Farish, you can tell, Grand Farish, and it is the Flying Scotsman. It's not the one you're thinking of. If it's the one you're thinking of, <coughs> this this is the one you're thinking of. It's, this isn't the 4472. This is, this loco is... 60103 She's a class A3 Is she? Yeah, she's a class A3 Yeah, yeah, she's an A3 And funny enough, she works I'm fortunate about this little one here, but I might have fixed it, I don't know I'll test it again on Wednesday Carrying on, if anyone wants to see the layout process, it's all on my Facebook And the layout's not more important at the moment Excuse the front cover of this book. Yeah. Let's carry on into the Scotsman review. Yeah. She is a beautiful latest crest, isn't it? Should be. Green, yeah, late crest. So that's it's simple, like all the Grand Farish ones. You open the tub up, but this time I've got to be warned that the tender is actually attached to the loco. Look at that. The Scotsman. Yep, 1643. Yeah, the tender is attached. Yeah, the tender is at actually attached to the loco. So, yeah, you've got the overhead wires because she's, she's like this now, actually. I think, if I'm not miscorrected, I haven't seen her. This is my first proper steam locomotive. Now, my professional camera. Oh, out of focus. Out of focus. God, out of focus. There we go. There we go. There's the Scotsman. She's out, and that, that's the Engage version, and then let's get his big daddy out, let's get the big daddy out. There's the double O gauge version, there's the big boy, there's the big boy. They're exactly the same class, okay, but this one, you can take its tender off. Yeah, there's the, there's the big daddy, there's the daddy of them all, there's the daddy, and there's the son. His son, she does run, she's a very good runner. Got to say, she's a British Rail, as you can tell. Yeah, she's a British Rail before she was 4472 or after. I hope you can see that, but that's the old crest. There we go. She does run. Just check the video. Just check the photos on my Facebook and a couple of my Twitter as well. Yeah. What do we think of the logo? She's a gorgeous. Oh, funny enough, I bought her for 50 quid for the market in Aylesbury. I'm going to test the other one out on Tuesday. So. Technically, and someone's just copied my photo on Facebook, but that can wait. Yeah, this is the cab detail is basic. There's no actually no cab detail. You can actually fit some in if you wanted to, but nah. Yeah, high voltage. Yeah, she's got the smoke deflectors, which I don't personally like, but I've got to put out of them. Yeah, this might be a short video and never. Yeah, this is the Flying Scotsman. She's not a sprung buffers because she's an engager like a double O-gauge version has. Right then. There's the Scotsman. By Graham Farish. Oh god, bad focus, bad focus, bad focus. I'll try and get a close up of her number and the British Rail crossing. Yeah, she's a gorgeous. Yeah. Better get this uploaded, because I better reply to this comment. Better reply to this comment on Facebook and get this video uploaded as soon as I can. Yeah, if I'm not doing any spotting tomorrow, I'll do it. Yes, just beware. Just hopefully, if she works again, hopefully, hopefully, this J94 should work. If she does work again, I'll review it. Because, right, I better get up, I better get working. I'll see you a lot in the next video.